guys, welcome to my basement. Alright guys, for all you chocolate lovers out there, I have something really awesome to show you. It's right here in this box. And it's called Choco Curb. So I was contacted by Choco Curb and they wanted to send me a box full of chocolate, which is amazing. I mean, can I even can I even say anything other than that's amazing? You guys know I am a huge fan of candy, like super huge. Choco Curb sent me a box and I wanted to unbox it with you guys. I've not looked in here. I'm so excited. I got this a couple days ago and I was like, I, I couldn't film. I was too busy and I was like, I want to get into that box. Like, you're gonna see me bouncing a lot up and down because right now I'm filming in my basement because it is so, so hot and I figured because it was a fun box unboxing that I could get away with filming down here. I hope you guys don't, guys don't mind. You don't see all makeup in the background. That way you can just concentrate on the unboxing and the fun tasting that is about to commence. So Chocolate Curb is a company that brings chocolate to everyday people. Fun, different chocolate that we never would have tried otherwise right to our doorstep. They have multiple different boxes. They have a little box, a medium box, a big box. This is the medium box. This contains five to seven bars of chocolate. I'm so excited. I can't wait to bust this open. What I want to show you guys is how it actually came packaged. It came in a little in a little styrofoam uh, box with a cold pack. So it kept it cold. And let's see what inside this box looks like. So this is what the Choco Curb looks like. And here we go. So it is packaged nicely. It's got this little, you know, foolproof little bad boy here. Okay. So it has a, um, a temperature controlled package, which is really good, especially in like these summer months. Like right now it is July. So it gets super hot out. So most people don't leave their packages on the curb for two days, so this will be protected until you get to open it and bring it inside. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, there's so much chocolate. It smells so good in there. Oh, Lord. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, five bars of chocolate. Tonight is going to be a party. Yes, it is. Uh-oh. Oh, I see some good chocolate. All right, let's. Let's dive right in. So this box that they sent me is uh, $30 a month and five to seven bars of chocolate. Let's see what we've got. Um, first up, we have Willie's Cacao, Milk of the Gods. When you sign up for Choco Carb, you actually do a survey that gauges your tastes and what things you are prone to. Now, me, I don't really like dark chocolate a whole lot. Um, I do like flavors in my chocolate, like hazelnut and stuff, and I do love things in my chocolate like almonds and peanuts and all that kind of good stuff. So um, you do take a survey and then they customize it to you and send you the yummy stuff. Okay, so this again, this is Willie's Cacao Milk of the Gods and it says Rio Caribe 44 Sublime Single Estate Milk Chocolate. I am not a chocolate connoisseur, so I will have to go to each one of these websites and like find out a little bit about the chocolate. Had the Aztecs eaten milk chocolate, this is how I'd like to imagine they would have created it. Silky smooth with exquisite layered notes of the Rio Caribe cacao dancing with the milk. Simply sublime. That is poetic. All right, so let's open this up. Oh, it's it's actually, um, it's got little uh, pieces and it, a piece is already broken off. So let's try this. Mmm, that's, like, that's nice. This is like really smooth, but that it has a slight bite undertone to it. I don't have to eat the whole cube. Really get a taste for it. That's really nice. That's a really nice chocolate. It's very smooth, and you can taste like delicious undertones to the milk chocolate. So that's really basic milk chocolate. That is so good. Mmm, I can't wait to see what else I got. This next chocolate is called Maru. Um, this is French, I'm assuming. It says Fessules de Chocolat. I don't know. I'm assuming this is French. Um, oh, it's not. Oh my gosh. We craft all of our chocolate in Saigon using purely Vietnamese ingredients. Okay, Samantha, you don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Okay, so this is soy, gluten, nuts, and dairy-free. 
and this is a single origin dark chocolate. Now, you guys know I just said I don't like dark chocolate. I am gonna give it a shot though. Let's give it a go, see what it tastes like. The packaging is really pretty. It's got the nice um, insignia here. Oh my gosh, this chocolate bar is so pretty. Look at it. I love when chocolate has just like the beautiful stamping on it. Okay, there's just a tiny little piece broken off, so I'm just gonna eat that because I'm a little scared. It's dark chocolate. Woo! Woo! That is strong! Holy moly! That is dark chocolate. Now, oof, the undertone of that dark chocolate was so intense and so bitter. Definitely not something for my palate, but I could see how people like that. Like, when I first bit into it, I was like, oh, maybe I can get into this. I know it's dark chocolate, and I don't normally like dark chocolate, but, like, maybe I can get into this. This is way too, this is way, way too much for me. I can't even get it back in the package. It's way too much for me. It has a serious bitter undertone. So I could see if people wanted to eat that with like cheese and wine and stuff like that, that would be really good. But that's just not a flavor that my palate desires <laughs> because it is so intensely dark chocolate. Let's go to the next one. Okay, this one is called Ethereal and Confections. What a pretty, pretty packaging. Uh, this is called Handcrafted Inclusion Chocolate Bar. It's 66% cacao, topped with caramel, almonds, cacao nibs, and sea salt. <gasps> Maybe I should save this one for last. I love all the things that are listed in this bar right now. Oh my gosh. I am so happy that Matt is not a huge chocolate fan. Oh, let me read the back. Our small business in Woodstock, Illinois, is centered on reconnecting people with food. We, Mary and Sal... We, Mary and Sarah Elvin, labor our individual detail and constantly strive to improve our craft. No big machines, no industrial factories here. We envision and then taste, tweak, and package everything by hand. I love that. I love su supporting business owned by people, not conglomerates. We are committed to using organic ingredients, no preservatives, and creating amazing flavors, gluten-free. Awesome! I can't wait to rip into this. I'm so excited. This packaging is beautiful, first of all. Like, this is one of my favorite colors, this baby blue. I love this shade. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, little bits of chocolate are dropping. It almost looks like a bark. <gasps> oh my gosh. Let's try this. This looks beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Nuts and chocolate are bomb. Like, that's so delicious. I need another bit of that. Oh my gosh. This is so good, you guys. I love sea salt and chocolate. Mmm. See me? I would have never experimented with these kinds of chocolates before. That's why this kind of service is so, so good. It makes you try something new. I love it. All right, this is called Malted Milk Chocolate. And this is 44% cacao, French broad chocolates, handcrafted in Asheville, North Carolina. Serenity Scott! You know my my uh, friends over at Serenity Scott are in Asheville, North Carolina. Okay, so the back says, uh, through our mountain towns, courses and courses an ancient river, a French broad. The water it carries is the same water that nourishes our cacao groves thousands of miles away. The French broad reminds us that we are all connected and through our chocolate, we seek to honor that connection. Our mission is to make awesome chocolate beautiful, wholesome, and delicious, crafted with love, and serve with gratitude and joy each uh, in, enjoy in good health, Dan and Jail. How awesome. Oh, this is, I can't wait. I love malt. I love malt chocolate. Mm. Like, do you love those little malt balls? Oh, I have no idea what to expect. Oh my gosh, this is so, this looks like, this looks like the Too Faced chocolate bar. Oh my gosh. Is there eyeshadow in there? Oh, this is so beautiful. This would make an amazing gift. Honestly, what? How, how beautiful is this chocolate right now? And it's got this little package, and it's got, it says a little something about um, the notes on the taste. We suggest you take your time and approach it with all your senses. Oh my gosh. It tells you how to eat the chocolate in there. All right, let's open this up. I know, you guys are so jealous that you're not eating with me. I wish some of you were here with me. Okay, I'm gonna break. It's so soft. Okay, so this is what the chocolate looks like. Mmm, it's so soft. Mmm. Oh my god. I need another bit. I need another bit. 
Oh my god, I'm getting fatter by the second. I can't even tell you what the consistency is because it's so soft and delicious. And it's it's almost so soft, I feel like if you took a knife, you could almost butter this on something. It's so, like you could spread it. You could butter it. You could spread it on something. This chocolate is beautiful. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh, have this with a few almonds on the side. Oh, delicious. We are down to the fifth bar. I got five bars in this package. Now this is a toffee and sea salt bar. Organic milk chocolate with toffee and sea salt. I intentionally, and this is called Cho, T-C-H-O. I intentionally save this for last because I am a toffeeaholic. I love toffee so, so much, you guys. When I went to England, how long has this been here? How long has this piece of chocolate been on my booby? You guys didn't tell me. I, when I came back from England, from London, I brought back so much toffee, it's insane because I'm obsessed with it. Like, I would marry toffee for a second. Okay, so the bar, oh, the bar is so cool. Look, as I touch the whole thing. Let me take a little cube off. Oh my gosh, please, please, please be as delicious as I need you to be. Oh my gosh, it is. It is. Mmm. That's the best one. Ugh. It's so good, you guys. You have brought me to another level, Joe. One whole bar is 390 calories. I think I could deal with that. It's all delicious. Uh, better bean to better bar. This was amazing. Ugh. All right, guys. That was my unboxing. My chocolate curve unboxing. You guys should check them out. I'm going to put them in the description bar. I think this would make a great gift. This would really make, like, you know what would be really be good with this? Having your girlfriends over and then getting this box and then all eating the bars. You know, like all trying them out and talking about them. Especially for people that really love chocolate. You know, I think that would be a lot of fun. Having a girls night, having a few drinks, um, you know, glass of milk or wine, whatever you like. Getting this box and enjoying the chocolate together. I think that would be a really fun thing to share. Maybe a dessert, uh, you know, like a dessert kind of thing, like a date night with your significant other. I think that would be really a lot of fun. I think this is a great subscription and I will be giving this to somebody special in my life for a gift. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for future videos, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.